Hey everyone, this time on Tim Talks Audio, a user request on how to bypass just a certain set of plugins that you may have on your tracks. In a recent video, there was a comments left asking how to bypass all instances of the same kind of plugin. Unfortunately, that's not possible unless they're all in the same position. Let me show you what I mean and let's dive into the DAW. So here we are inside of our session and we've gone over it before on how to bypass all of our plugins and sends, and that's with this button right here. If I had the mixer down, it would be down in this area, and if the inspector was away, it'd just be pushed over. I'm gonna reopen both of those. If I'm trying to bypass just a certain plugin that I have across many tracks, then there is a way to do it, and there's actually a couple ways to do it. Let's head over to our synth tracks, and that's these purple tracks right here. On each one of these tracks, I have an instance of Pro EQ, followed by the stock compressor, and then followed up by the Sound Toys Primal Tap. Now, I don't have any settings on any of these. This is just an example, and I wanna show you how we can quickly and easily bypass groups of plugins. So the first way to do it is to shift click the tracks that you wanna have selected. I have all of my synth tracks selected right now, and if I go up, I can bypass any one of the selected plugins, and it'll do it across the selected tracks. So if I wanna bypass Pro EQ, I just click it here, and you can see that it bypasses it on all three tracks. If I wanna bring it back in, it's as easy as another click. This works for any type of plugin. This is why I have the compressor here, because I can easily turn this on and off, or any third-party plugin as well. That's why we have the Primal Tap in. We can turn this on and off with simple clicks. The same would work if you only have two of the tracks selected and you wanna bypass to A, B your tracks. Now, what would happen if these plugins were in a different order? Let's do that with this middle track and I'll put the compressor first. I'm going to command click this track to put it back into my selection or that would be control click on PC. And now watch what happens when I bypass the first instance of Pro EQ on our rightmost track in the mixer. It also bypasses the compressor. What this is doing is bypassing what is in the first position of your plugins. So if you were trying to A, B your EQ moves or your compressor moves across all of your tracks, you need to make sure that they're in the same position in the plugin order of your chains. Like we see here, we have Pro EQ first on a couple channels and a compressor first. Well, if I wanted to bypass the EQ, I would need to go in and now bypass here, but I still have everything selected and it bypassed the compressors. You can see where this can be a little confusing. If you're trying to A, B all of your EQs, you do need them to be into the same position of your plugin chains. If you don't wanna go through the steps of selecting all of the tracks that you need, you can easily form a group. I can take all of my guitar tracks I'm gonna shift click through here and I'm gonna hit Command G on the Mac keyboard or Control G on a PC. This will allow me to make a group. I can name it. And then I can check over here where this icon is. This is the button that will show our available groups. And you can see I have a couple going on. I have a percussion group, I have a synth group, and I have a guitar group. Something you'll wanna check is to make sure that your inserts are selected within that group. Now, if you bypass a plugin, it will do it to all the channels within that group. Let's go back to our synths after I turn my group on. And I'm gonna hit Option 2 on my keyboard because it is Group 2, or that would be Alt 2 on a Windows PC. The number is dependent on the group number, so don't think it's always going to be Option or Alt plus 2. If I wanted to turn Group 1 on or off, I would hold Option or Alt 1, and I can turn it on and off. Right now I'm working with group two, so I'm gonna hit two. If I go back to my synths, and you can see I don't have any of them selected, I can now bypass all of my compressors at the same time. This is just like before, where if the order is different, it will bypass the ones that are in the second position. If I had Pro EQ in the second position in the second channel here, it would bypass that and not the compressor. So you can see by using groups or selecting the tracks that you want to A, B, you're able to quickly and easily turn plugins on and off as you need. You can do it for the entire plugin chain as well, just by hitting the little power button next to where it says inserts above your plugins. 
The same goes for your sends on your group or selected channels as well. You can bypass or turn the sends off and on the same way you would with your plugins or all of your sends by hitting the power button next to the sends above where all of your sends are. That's all for now. If you found anything informative, please like and share the video. For more, visit timplansbum.com. And if you have a question, ask it in a comment and I'll answer it in a future video. Thanks for watching.